welcome to Clear Path Guidance in Tarot. So I have a reading here that was purchased from a subscriber who shall remain anonymous on Lee Min Ho and Kim Go Yoon. I want to first of all thank everyone for all of your kind remarks and comments and emails and support and donations. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I am tr so truly grateful. I have to say that you guys are probably one of the best oh like subscribers best group of people ever um you're just so so good to me so i had said to one of the women in my emails you know i said it's like you guys are all my children some of them are you some of you are demanding some of you are spoiled some of you are bad but most of you are really good and respectful. So I truly am grateful for for the last, when did I post that video? Was it a couple of days ago? Uh, what are we on, Wednesday? I can't even think anymore. So we're on Wednesday. So this was on Monday. So um, I just, I, I'm overwhelmed uh, with all the support and um, just the positivity you guys are all sending towards me. I truly love all of you. I, I love, the South Korean K-drama and the stars and the actors and all of the culture. I truly love it. You know, my nephew just came back from Seoul, from uh, South Korea. Uh, he was in Busan and he loved it. He said the people are so nice and um, he really enjoyed teaching English there. So I have to say that that's, that is what his... Um, uh, experiences with South Korea and we do have a restaurant here where I live that is called Gangnam Coco and I go there and eat chicken they have chicken and I eat yum yum chicken and I like the specialty teas and so I want to tell you guys that I, 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 I'm really starting to get immersed in the culture Next thing I know, I'm going to be learning how to speak the language, and I have no issues with doing that either, you know, but um, I want to thank you again. Now, if anybody's interested in purchasing a private reading from me, go ahead. My email address will be below. Will be below. I get, I'll get back to you within 24 hours. I will have the turnaround time is five days. This reading here was purchased yesterday, so I got it out within 24 hours. I usually have maybe at the very most three days at the very, very most that it takes for me to get a reading back. Um, so, uh, so you don't have to wait that long. Okay. So here you go. Here's the reading on Lee Min Ho, Kim Go Yoon. Couple of questions. I hope you enjoy the reading. Kim Go Yoon's energy. She's not affected by any of this. I feel like she understands this is the stuff that happens. And this is what she's trying to avoid. She doesn't want this ugliness to come out against her. So, I mean, the internet blew up regarding uh, Lee Min Ho and this other lady. And it's like, even though there's a lot of people that support the relationship, this is what she's avoiding. She doesn't like this part. Now, when I get, when I, I, I did a reading on somebody else who wanted to know about them, I get this hot and cold with them. And more it's her being cold. Like, Lee Min Ho is, it's like, it's more his side. And I'm not saying she doesn't want to be with him or any of that stuff, but it's like, it's like, he's patient, he's waiting, you know, and she's, you know, it's, it's like, I get, I feel like they get like two steps closer and then one step back. So something like this, even though she understands um, that this happens, she doesn't like it. And she bothers her and she does not want to be the center of this kind of attention ever. So even, it, I don't think it affects the two of them. But when she has confidence that, you know, like this is going to be okay, shit like this happens. And it kind of bothers her. She doesn't, she doesn't want to be part of, she doesn't want to be part of this kind of stuff. Um... Okay, so Lee Min Ho and Kim Go Yoon feeling right now about their feelings. See, I feel like sometimes Lee Min Ho's lonely. I feel like he's lonely. He's kind of looking for Kim Go Yoon to give the green light. And it's like she does and then she doesn't. And that doesn't make her a bad person. But it's like she wants to step back when something like this happens. 
do you still feel there'd be an announcement about them? Yes, but she's she's like a cautious turtle. That's what I that's what I'm gonna call her is this cautious turtle. She goes slow and then you know she's like the, she's the cancer. She's the crab. When something worries her, upsets her, she hides in her shell like a turtle. You know, head goes in and hides in there until she looks out and says, "Is it safe to come out?" And it is. Lee Min Ho is more seasoned. He's been through this a little bit more. Okay, so it's like he's waiting on Kim Go Yoon to kind of, not that she's not all in, but she's skittish. She is. So he's trying to respect her in that way. You know, whatever, it's like he's leaving everything up to her. Whatever she wants, we'll go from there. Okay, um, she's kind of calling... I wouldn't say the shots, but he's, he's being respectful of her. He cares enough that much about her. Um, I don't think that this has affected their relationship, but it's affecting how they're going to move forward together publicly. Um, the announcement about them... Um, I still feel like it's going to come out, but this kind of pushes it back a little bit. Okay, even though everyone's denounced it, everyone's saying, no, this isn't true, I'm just an acquaintance, and she's, you know, saying the same thing. Um, it's still, you know, it, like Kim Ko Yoon's just doesn't like this. She doesn't like the drama. She's not about the drama, you know. Let's see what the messages are regarding. Kim Go Yoon and Lee Min Ho. I think this is the part of celebrity she doesn't like. And I don't think any of them like it. But he seems to handle it a lot better. He knows how to handle these situations. The only question that I have that kind of makes me a little bit... I don't, and you, anybody here can comment about this. So when something is not true... It seems to me that dispatch shuts it down right away. Dis oh, not that's not dispatch. Dispatch is like the like um, the entertainment article or whatever. Their agencies shut it down right away. Now, also, I've heard that Lee Min Ho does not hide relationships. Okay, so my question is, is that not my question, but the thing about it is, he's not coming clear on him and Kim Go Yoon. Now, the fact that they are together and he hasn't said anything yet, I'm guessing he's just being respectful of her. Um, so, my question, what was my question again? So, I guess he, he his agency and her agency must know what people are thinking, that they are seeing each other, which is, if it's true, like obviously it's true because, it's got to be true because they're not shutting it down, right? They're just, they're not saying anything. I think they're allowing people to warm up to this. They're allowing people, you know, they're waiting, I feel like they're waiting for the right moment to announce this. So, okay, let's see what the messages are. Lee Min Ho and Kim Go Yoon. Talking in circles. Lee Min Ho and Kim Go Yoon. Lee Min Ho and Kim Go Yoon. Okay, so here we have the Fool. This is the very first card in the tarot deck. And this talks about fresh hope, taking chances, new beginnings, taking that leap of faith. This is that taking chances, new beginnings, taking the leap of faith. This is her. This is her. She needs to take that leap of faith. She needs security. Cancers need security. Cancerians. So she's looking for security. He's willing to give it to her. And then something like this happens and then she backs off. She's shot. She's shot, right? But this is saying that she needs to take that leap of faith. 
take that chance. Everything will be okay. He's protective. He's protective of her and he's willing to protect her. He's willing to shield her. It's like I get this shield. You know, whatever happens, I will take the brunt of it. I will handle it. Don't you worry. Okay. All right. Then we have the chariot. And the chariot speaks of about action. It takes it talks about change. Um, this card speaks about progress. I asked about the relationship, progress, victory, determination. It's about control and it's about mastery. So it's like they're controlling this, they're mastering the situation. It reveals you making a determined move forward, um, progressing in creative ventures, relationships, progress. Okay, determined to follow your calling, determined to, to de determine, he's determined to help her. Okay, then we have the three of wands, which is about teamwork. This is about manifestation. So the three of wands speaks about action, manifestation, success. This is about a, a project, a romance, or trip materializing. It can predict a wedding. Okay? Um, but this really is a just about manifestation. And this is, this is success. So it's like manifestation. It's like they have the power. They have the power to make this happen. It's, you can see he's kind of waiting, waiting. This is like a waiting period, waiting for that kind of like that ship to come in, okay? Then we have the Nine of Cups, which is about wishes coming true. It's about abundance. It's about good health. Um, I'm glad this card came up because this is about wish fulfillment, okay? So the Ten of Cups is about joy. Sorry, not ten, nine. This is about wishes, reward, happiness, and sharing. This is the wish come true card. You not only manifest what you desire, manifestation, remember, this card here is manifestation, um, but you also get to enjoy it. It's a time of abundance, growth, reward, affection, laughter, and new connections, and re as relationships and new ventures flourish. You share your rewards, all are welcome at your table. So this is this is that sharing that reward. This is about um, relationships, new ventures. She's she's she needs, I feel like sometimes she needs to be held, her he needs to hold her hand and move forward. She she reminds me of a shy little girl. Okay. All right, and then we have the page of wands. And the page of wands is about um, new ideas. Okay, so these new ideas, maybe he's got these ideas. I know they're both cancer. This represents a, a different, um, but this is about good news. It's about creativity. It's about friendship. Applied to the situation, the card means good news and often shows a young situation. Um, it could be a relationship. It could be a project. Um, it says here, such as a project in development, particularly writing and writing and the arts. So they could be working on something together. Maybe there's something coming together. Everybody talks about this yummy cell that he might be um, a part of this project. It could very well be. You may connect with old friends, talk about new ideas. So this is a creative and sociable time. So they could be coming up with a new idea of working together, maybe him being part of something. But this is her, you know, stuff like this happens and, and she withdraws. And that's typical of a cancer person. They need the security. I feel like he's secure. I really do feel that he's the one who's always saying to her, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Don't worry. May I know if you feel that they've gone deeper now, like they are now a couple in love. I do feel that they have gone deeper. It is, they are. They they are, to, I feel they are together. And I do feel that they are in love, which is why he respects her. And he wants to look after her and take care of her. So, I, like, again, I get this shield. He's like, I'll be your shield. You don't have to worry about anybody attacking you because they're going to come after me first. I will make sure of it. I get, he's, he tries. 
he, he's trying to like convince her that this is okay. You know, I don't, I don't feel like they spend a lot of time together, but it's like through distance, it still can continue. I feel like somehow it's like a long distance relationship. I don't know where he lives, if he lives in Seoul or, or what. I don't know where she lives, but I don't feel like they see each other a lot. But I do feel that the relationship is strong enough that they don't have to. They're both pretty independent. If the, of the two, I feel he's kind of like the little more needy one. He, and she's kind of like the more, she's the more the voice of reason. And he's more of like, but I want to be around you. And she's like, I know, but I'm busy and I've got things to do. So there's a balance here. I do feel they're together. I do feel that they love each other. Um, I do feel that they're in love. I do. Um, but the relationship is, is, um, like I don't see like that the two of them like can't keep their hands off of each other and constantly have to be hugging and kissing. I don't get that with them. So yeah, I do feel that. Let, let's just ask the cards. All right. Are Lee Min Ho and Kim Go Yoon together and in love. Are Lee Min Ho and Kim Go Yoon, they are now a couple in love. Are they now a couple in love? Are Lee Min Ho and Kim Go Yoon now a couple in love? Well, here we have <laughs> the Ace of Cups. This talks about that relationship, propo relationship proposal, marriage, emotions overflowing. Um, this in tarot, Aces represent, sorry, in tarot, water represents emotions. So this is about love being given and returned by both people. The cup is overflowing with water, which, which means that they're happy. They're, there's a lot of emotions flowing here. Okay. So I'm going to go to the book, just get a deeper message of this. So this talks about the key meanings are beginnings, love, creativity, flow, and healing, falling in love, pregnancy, and motherhood are common meanings. I don't think they're going to have a baby anytime soon, but these are just key words. It doesn't necessarily mean it means all of them in their situation. So, or finding the inspiration to begin a new creative venture, whatever you hope for begins and you're in the flow. Okay. There are also opportunities for spiritual growth and healing and love is given, shared and returned in fullness. Okay, so that's the two of them. Here we have the lover's card. Partnership, deep love, balance of two people together. He understands her and she understands him, but they, they're not really touchy-feely sort of a good people. Okay, we have the lovers. We have the ace of cups. Now we have the empress, which is abundance. Okay. So we have here, she is, the, she is the mother, the wife, or female partner, or influential female. She symbolizes care, security, abundance, so relationships flourish. Okay, so finances improve, improving. 
but we have here relationships flourishing abundance this is the female influential partner okay so there we have it again they're trying to find a balance there's the two of pentacles this is about multitasking it's about choices it's about weighing options this is them weighing those options two of pentacles so this says tension between two forces it often reveals cash flow issues or the need to choose where to live work or study when faced with strong options the message is consistency and attention to detail to keep money flowing and to make choices based on what is practical rather than ideal okay so they're trying to make some choices um, regarding how they're gonna go about this that are practical not ideal all right and then we have here the eight of cups which talks about um, it's about travel it is about sometimes just withdrawing and retreating and I think she likes to do that she likes to withdraw and she likes to retreat there's the moon there's the sign of cancer that's her not really leaving the situation but she needs she needs her space she needs to withdraw and she needs to retreat sometimes okay but here we have it these three cards they talk about the love they talk about the commitment they talk about um, a partnership love you know um, abundance emotions so these are great cards there you go. that is the reading on Lee Min Ho and Kim Go Yoon I really hope you guys enjoyed this reading thank you everyone for liking subscribing sharing commenting purchasing readings I truly appreciate it have a great day bye bye